Hello, hi there, Habari Rafiki. Wendy Water here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys two spots perfect for glamping in Nairobi. Now, right now, I'm seated outside my tent at the Nairobi Tent at Camps, which is pretty amazing. It's so peaceful and serene out here. And then, in the next spot I'm going to be checking out is Anger Africa. So, you're of course going to check out both spots with me, and yeah, let's get started. This camp is located within Nairobi National Park and it's actually the only accommodation available there. Driving in, we encountered this Maasai giraffe which was shy and it ran away. And we also had to stop for this ostrich to cross the road. Promise of good things to come, right? The camp itself is nestled in a riverine forest. It has a cozy main lounge, a dining area, a fully stocked bar, as well as nine luxury safari style tents. I was super hungry by the time I got there. And before even checking into my room, I asked them to bring me some food. So they brought out chapati, which is my absolute favorite food in Kenyan cuisine. Always reminds me of my mom. <laughs> and they paired it to the creamy beef stew and the light salad. Now they set that up for me right in the outdoors next to a river, which is dry now because of the season. By the time they crowned that with the mousse for dessert, a baby antelope was grazing right next to my table. Birds were chirping in the afternoon air and it was just so serene and magical Rafiki. In my tent I had a work desk with some magazines which I actually write for so I went through those and then a double bed that's just my Kyondo basket on the bed by the way not part of the decor and carry extra warm clothing if you can the bed is pretty comfortable but it can get really cold at night although they will give you a hot water bottle and then right there on the right is a clothing rack now how cute is this yellow giraffe curtain leading up to the bathrooms now the shower uses a camping bucket style system whereby if you want to take a hot shower then they'll have to heat the water in the kitchens and then bring it up to your tent before you can turn on the shower but that's basically it pretty cool The obvious upside of staying at this camp is that you get to go on a game drive. Now be sure to chat up the guides, they're armed with so much information that will just blow your mind. The park is teeming with a wealth and variety of wildlife like antelopes, maasai giraffes, zebras, buffaloes, lions, cheetahs, leopards and much much more. In fact, I think you're more likely to spot the black rhino here than you are in the Mara. And boy oh boy, the views! In no other city in the world can you spot wildlife grazing and browsing and hunting and chilling <laughs> set against the backdrop of the city's skyscrapers it's a family uh, business so basically what we sort of thought about um, when starting because like we wanted to do a bnb but then we didn't quite know uh, in what sort of uh, style we wanted to do it but then um, we saw that there's not many um, not many places who have like luxury tenant camps in Nairobi so we thought that would be a really nice uh, sort of addition and obviously we wanted also like bring across sort of the safari feeling like you know like if you like you're in Naivasha or you're in Abadares so or anything like that. So we have six tents and uh, each of them can hold a maximum of three people. They're named after different uh, different uh, animals uh, which you can find in, uh, in the Kenyan Nile uh, wildlife. So uh, we have Pundamilia, uh, Twiga, Ndohu, Simba, Cheetah, and Chewy. The best part about staying at this camp is that afterwards there's so much you could do in the current area. You could for instance head out to the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust to check out the baby elephants during their feeding time which is usually at 11 a.m. Now expect a big crowd. I love elephants. If you have kids they will definitely love this too. Now this one is limping because it had a rough encounter with poachers and there's a lot of similar stories but you'll definitely love the experience you can even adopt an elephant if you want. Afterwards you can also head out to the giraffe center to play with and feed the Rothschild giraffes there. Hope you enjoyed today's video and you know what? Like I could call you every Wednesday to let you know whenever there's a new video up on my channel but you know what would be easier? If you clicked that subscribe button so that you know you just instantly get that notification and see you in my next video bye <laughs>